NATO vs. BRICS In this video, we aim to compare NATO and BRICS, particularly focusing on the significance of the five new members joining the BRICS bloc in 2024. We will analyze what these new nations bring to the table and how it compares with NATO. While we have made every effort to ensure a fair and accurate comparison, we acknowledge that there may be errors in the numbers and figures gathered from various sources. Your understanding is appreciated and if you notice any issues or errors, please let us know in the comments. Before we begin, please consider liking this video to help us reach a broader audience. Feel free to share our videos with your friends as well. Thank you. Let's start with comparison of the energy power of BRICS versus NATO. Energy. Let's start by discussing the energy power of BRICS, especially the new members. The addition of major oil producers like Saudi Arabia, Iran, and the UAE significantly boosts BRICS' role in global energy markets. Here, we provide the power that Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Iran bring to the BRICS bloc. In 2023, Saudi Arabia continued to be a major player in the global crude oil market, with its exports maintaining an upward trajectory, albeit at a slower pace due to reduced production as part of OPEC's oil price strategy. The first half of 2023 saw global crude oil loadings increase by 8.9% year-over-year to 1,080.8 million tons, with exports from the Persian Gulf, including Saudi Arabia, up by 3.3% year-over-year to 435.7 million tons, accounting for 40.3% of the global seaborne crude oil trade. Saudi Arabia was highlighted as the single largest seaborne exporter of crude oil globally, accounting for 16.3% of global seaborne crude oil exports. In the 12 months of 2022, Saudi seaborne crude oil exports surged by 17.2% year over year, to 360.6 million tons, the highest annual volume since 2013. This trend continued positively into the first half of 2023, with 176.6 million tons shipped marking a 4.3% increase year over year. Regarding the global context, world oil demand was expected to rise by 2.3 million barrels per day to 101.7 million barrels per day in 2023. This increase, however, was set against a backdrop of weakening macroeconomic conditions, with a significant slowdown anticipated for 2024, as global demand growth was forecasted to have to 1.1 million barrels per day, the global oil supply was also expected to rise, driven largely by non-OPEC countries, with a projected increase of 1.8 million barrels per day to 101.9 million barrels per day in 2023, underscoring the dynamic and interconnected nature of global oil markets. In 2023, the United Arab Emirates continued to be a significant player in the global oil and gas industry. The UAE is among the world's top 10 oil producers with about 96% of its roughly 100 billion barrels of proven oil reserves located in Abu Dhabi. This positions the UAE 6 worldwide in terms of oil reserves. The country's oil production averages around 3.2 million barrels per day, with the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company playing a pivotal role in the sector. AD and OC has ambitious plans to reach 5 million barrels of maximum sustainable production capacity by 2030. Additionally, the UAE is focusing on developing unconventional oil and gas production and holds the seventh largest proven reserves of natural gas globally, exceeding 215 trillion cubic feet. The UAE's oil and gas market is expected to be dominated by the upstream sector due to increasing investments across the country. According to the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, the UAE's oil production was about 3,043,000 ,003 barrels per day in December 2022. The country has also made significant discoveries, including 650 million barrels of offshore crude oil reserves announced at BAD and OC in May 2022. There is a strong emphasis on field expansion projects and the application of enhanced oil recovery techniques to counter the production from maturing fields. Investments in the oil and gas sector are significantly rising due to increased exploration and production activities. The UAE, as one of OPEC's largest crude oil, Producers and the fourth largest producer of petroleum liquids views the oil and gas sector as critical to its economy. AD and OC's downstream expansion strategy includes a plan to invest approximately US$45 billion United States dollars in the sector. Additionally, in November 2022, AD and OC announced an investment of US$150 billion United States dollars over the next five years to enable an accelerated growth strategy for oil and gas production. 
This strategic direction aims to enhance the profitability of upstream assets and meet projected increases in global oil demand. In 2023, Iran, as a new member of BRICS experienced a notable increase in its oil exports, reaching levels that signify a significant rebound despite the continuation of U.S. sanctions. The country's oil exports rose to 1.4 million barrels per day, marking a substantial increase and in highlighting Iran's resilience in navigating through sanctions to find ways to export its oil. This increase is particularly significant, considering the sanctions aimed at curbing Iran's oil exports to reduce the revenue flowing into the country's government. Despite the challenging sanctions environment, Iran's crude oil exports ended 2022 on a high note, demonstrating a strong start to 2023. This uptick in exports is attributed to higher shipments to key partners such as China and Venezuela, underscoring Iran's strategic navigation of the global oil market. The resilience of Iran's oil exports, even amidst rigorous sanctions and competitive pressures from discounted Russian crude, showcases the country's adaptability and the diverse strategies employed to sustain its oil export levels. Notably, energy consultant SVB International reported that Iran's crude exports in December averaged 1.137 million BPD, highlighting a continued upward trend in export levels. The strategic importance of Iran's oil exports is underscored by its significant role in global supply, especially considering the geopolitical and economic ramifications of the sanctions. With Iran being a key player in the global oil market, the dynamics of its oil exports have broader implications for global oil prices and supply chains. As Iran aims to navigate through sanctions and leverage its oil exports, the developments in its oil export capacity remain a critical area of interest for stakeholders in the global energy sector. Now, let's look at the energy capacity of the NATO. NATO countries, particularly the United States, have a significant influence on global trade, especially in energy and technology sectors. The U.S. became a crucial energy supplier to Europe, especially during geopolitical tensions, providing 50% of Europe's LNG supplies and 12% of its oil in 2022. This not only underscores NATO's role in global energy security but also its ability to adapt and lead in the renewable energy transition. The Global Energy Perspective 2023 projects a shift towards renewable energy sources. With investments growing in green technologies and decarbonization, NATO's technological prowess further supports its strategic position in global markets, driving progress towards sustainability and innovation. Now, we will compare NATO versus BRICS in terms of economy and size. Economy size and GDP. The original BRICS members were projected to have a combined GDP of $27.6 trillion in 2023, representing 26.3% of the global total. With the new members, the expected GDP slightly climbs to $30.8 trillion, accounting for a 29.3% global share. As of the latest estimates, the GDP PPP data for 2024 for some BRICS countries are as follows. China is projected to have a GDP PPP of $35,244 billion, India $17,970 billion, and Russia $5,880 billion. Other notable entries include Saudi Arabia at $2,643 billion and South Africa at $1,215 billion. These figures underscore the economic might within the BRICS bloc, particularly with the inclusion of new members. In contrast, the GDP of NATO countries is characterized by the combined economic output of its members, with the United States leading at a projected GDP PPP of $24,163 billion for 2024, followed by other significant economies such as Germany, France, and the United Kingdom. Now, let's compare the population. The expansion of BRICS in 2024 to include new members such as Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates significantly increases its global population coverage. Prior to the expansion, BRICS nations already represented a substantial portion of the global population, primarily due to the large populations of India and China. With the inclusion of the new members, the BRICS partnership now encompasses 47.3% of the world's population, according to an analysis from Thetracon and Endel. The current global population as of early 2024 stands at approximately 8.1 billion people, according to Worldometer, which means the BRICS countries, with their expanded membership, represent a significant portion of humanity. 
This demographic heft enhances the bloc's potential economic and geopolitical influence on the global stage. The inclusion of countries with large populations like Egypt and Ethiopia further bolsters the BRICS demographic profile, potentially enabling the bloc to surpass 50% of the global population as more countries express interest in joining. The expansion reflects BRICS' ambition to play a more dominant role in global affairs, challenging established economic and geopolitical orders. The diversity and size of its population, combined with its economic ambitions, position the BRICS bloc as a significant counterbalance to other global entities such as NATO and the G7, which have traditionally dominated international economic and political discussions. Now, it is the time to look at the export power of the two blocs, NATO versus BRICS. That's all for now. If you found this video informative, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching.